Okay, well, hey everybody. So today we're gonna take a look at blood typing kits. And um, as we talked about in lecture, if we're gonna be checking blood types, uh, the first thing we need is a blood typing sample well. And these are kind of nice, they're disposable, and they have these three wells, one, two, and three. So we've got an A over here, we've got a B over here, and we've got an RH written over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our anti-A serum. We're gonna put a drop of this in the A well. Remember, anti-A means it's gonna react against the antigens found in A blood. We're gonna take our anti-B serum. We're gonna put a drop of this in the B well. That's gonna react against the antigen found on the B antigen blood cells, or type B. And then we've got our anti-D serum. Remember, type D is the other name for RH factor. We're gonna put a drop in the RH well. And the antibodies in there will react against the antigens, the RH antigen specifically, if it's present on the blood cell. So now we have our well all set up. We're gonna need a blood sample. So here I have a sample in a drawer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a drop in each one of the wells and what we're going to do is we're going to mix it. Now this is very important. Make sure that whatever you're using to mix, you only mix one well with. Because if you cross-contaminate this, you're just going to invalidate your sample. So I'm going to use a different stick to mix up the B. And then I'm going to use yet a different stick to mix up the RH factor. Okay. Now, once these are mixed, one thing you need to remember to do is go ahead and make sure you're always reading your results against a white background to make sure that you can see what's going on. You're also gonna to wanna to not be afraid to go ahead and pick up your sample and rock it back and forth to see if you're getting any agglutination i.e. any clumping in there. All right, and that is how you set up and run a sample. So now let's take a look at the different blood types and what results you get. So here's our first one. If you take a look at this, we've got obvious agglutination, i.e. clumping in the A well. We have nothing going on in the B well, and we have obvious agglutination or clumping in the RH well. So this blood sample is A positive, okay? Now, compare that to this one, where we've got obvious clumping going on in the A well again, nothing going on in the B well, and nothing going on in the RH well. So this one, in contrast, is A negative. So remember, if your RH is there, it's positive. If it's not, it's negative. Third sample, take a look at this. Now, here, we have no clumping going on in the A, but when you look at the B, Can you see this? See all those little granule looking things in there? Let me rock it for you guys so you can see that a little better. That's agglutination, i.e. clumping. So we have a positive reaction in the B well. So in this case, we've got B and we've got positive reaction here because look how clumped that is. We have a B positive sample, okay? And sample number four, let's take a look at this one. Again, there's no clumping in the A. It's all nice and smooth in there. 
Look at all that clumping, though, that we have in the B. See all that? Yeah, that's agglutination. So this is a type B sample, and look, there's nothing going on in the RH. So this one is B negative, okay? All right, so we got four down, four to go, because humans have eight blood types total. So let's take a look at blood type number five. Now this one, we've got some pretty obvious clumping everywhere, don't we? We have clumping in the A well, we have clumping, or i.e. agglutination, remember synonyms, in the B well. And we have more agglutination in the RH well. So that means this blood type is A, B positive, okay? Now contrast that to this one. Once again, we've got some pretty obvious agglutination in the A obvious agglutination in the B, but look at that RH. That's all nice and clear, right? No agglutination there. So in this case, we have A, B, negative. All right, two more samples to go. So let's take a look at them. This one here. So this one, it's all nice and clear in both the A and the B well, isn't it? Look how runny that is. There's no clumping at all going on. But compare that one to the RH. Look at that. There is so much clumping there, it just turned to jelly. Imagine that going on in your bloodstream. Ugh. So this one, since there's no A and no B, there are zero antigens present there, right? Remember, type zero is what we call type O blood. So this would be O positive because we definitely have clumping in the RH. Now let's take a look at the last one here. And you can see everything is clear in this one. There's no clumping anywhere. So because we have zero uh, antigens in the A, we have zero in the B, this is type zero or again type O. There's no clumping in the RH as well. So this is O negative. Okay. So let's just take a moment and compare those two, right? So the one on the left is O positive. The one on the left is O negative. You can see we've got clumping in the RH here in the positive one. We have no clumping here. Okay. And let's compare these two. So the one on the left is A, B positive because we have clumping in both the A and B and look at this. It's pretty bad, huh? On the other side, we have type AB negative. So we have clumping in the A and clumping in the B and look how runny the RH is. So that is type AB negative. Here, we've got our type B bloods. You can tell there's no clumping in the A and there's a lot of clumping in the B. See all that? So we have, a, we have B positive and B negative here. And then finally, let's compare these two. And we have the opposite of the last ones, right? We have a positive and a negative. Okay. All right. So those are the different blood types. Hope you enjoyed that.